Hey, this is Virginia Rep's artistic director, Nathaniel Shaw, checking in. Um, I'm filming this on the evening of Tuesday, March 24th, and honestly still reeling a bit from the loss of Terrence McNally. Um, every loss of life during this crisis is equally tragic, but there is something about this hitting um, such a key figure and beloved and celebrated playwright and member of the theater community that, I don't know, brings it into kind of a harsh new reality today. Um, so I hope that everybody hearing this is healthy and safe and doing everything that's being asked of us as far as keeping our distance from one another and washing our hands excessively. Um, all of those recommendations, we've got to get on the back side of this, and we only get on the back side of this by isolating so that we can come back together later. Um, I'm reaching out tonight because we are starting just a little mini initiative on social media asking members of our theater community to share with our patrons and friends and colleagues what they're doing to pass the time, what they miss about the work we do together, and what they're working on. And we're going to be asking people that are working on things for Virginia Rep, so um, people that love what we do at Virginia Rep can begin to get a sense of who and what they can expect uh, when we get on the backside of this. So uh, for myself, um, we haven't really slowed down the work rate at Virginia Rep as with our wonderful board of directors and alongside Phil Whiteway and other leaders in the company, we are reassessing what we should be doing and looking hard at changing all of the planning for the 2020-21 season and taking projects that we intended to do this spring and moving them to future uh, parts of the calendar and uh, unfortunately doing like a lot of theaters are doing across America and we have experienced some layoffs and some furloughs and I am eager for all of us as theater makers to get back to the wonderful things we do to bring our staff back up to its robust level and we're going to need our audience and benefactors to all come together and do that together when the timing is right. So for me working really really hard uh, I am working from home and uh, in doing so I am certainly sneaking in a few more play ses sessions with my wonderful boys Benny and Caleb and I marvel every day all day at my incredible wife Lisa Rambaskis who with the schools being closed has take on the, taken on the role of school teacher. She is also doing private lessons um, via Skype and Zoom uh, for ballet and um, just just doing a remarkable job of, of keeping us all sane in this time. A lot of extra walks. The community is filled with people walking, uh, keeping the appropriate distance from each other, but walking all over our neighborhood. Um, what I miss most about the theater is the people. I miss so much gathering with fellow artists and watching actors and hopefully offering something to actors to inspire the beautiful, beautiful thing that they do. And then I miss so much that moment where we get to invite an audience in to be with us and share those stories together. So I miss the whole human interaction of what we do. And I am so excited to um, begin to create those opportunities again for all of us to share together. So. Uh, like you, I am looking forward to hearing what our theater artists have to share with you in this form. And do please keep an eye out for these messages coming from our beloved theater community, uh, letting you know of the exciting work you can expect when we all get back together soon. All right. Good night.